We just do what we always do. Yeah. Why do you always have to change stuff on me, Richard? Okay, so, oh, this is it? <laughs> See, this is, he always tells me, <laughs> he's always like, let's do it. And then I'm like, I'm waiting. And then I just keep talking. And then that's when I say all the funny shit. And then he plays the music. Everybody, welcome to Mimosas with Michael. And I want to welcome everybody to a happy new year, 2018. And I want to welcome our guest, actor and writer, producer Gregory Blair. Hello, everyone on uh, Michael, Michael, Michael with Mimosas, Mimosas with Michael. I do the same thing because, you know, Michael's more important than Mimosas, clearly. Obviously. This is so exciting. So you asked slash begged me to be on the show. So I finally decided to do it. Uh, I believe the term is grovel, but okay. <laughs> basically, basically cornered me at one night and he's like, I want to have a mimosa with you. So we're having mimosas today. <laughs> that's, you know, that's my MO. What can I say? I corner people. No, that's, I mean, that's the best way is really just to trip people and the well, way you're on the ground now. So while you help them up, you ask, you give them your business card. There you go. <laughs> I mean, isn't that how, how we all get work? Totally. <laughs> I just drive around Beverly Hills till I see somebody famous and I run into them with my car. <laughs> By the way, I don't actually, I don't actually do that, and I don't want other people to do that because I don't want people to go. Oh, I heard it on this awesome podcast, and now like I get fucking sued. So, oh yeah, it's totally yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did a blog once about don't shove cards in people's hands. <laughs> I know, yeah, and I, I just, just want to, I just want to state, just for the record, that Michael's views are not representative of my <laughs> views <laughs> of any sane person. Of, of any, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't be responsible for what comes out of my mouth when I drink mimosas. You guys, <laughs> I plead the fifth. Yeah. So Gregory, so Gregory and I have known of each other. We met at the because uh, my first guest on the podcast was Kevin Phipps, and we met at his screening for the Fire Thirteen yes. Memorial. So that's the first time. So it all kind of ties back into my podcast, which is really amazing. And yes, I just, yes. want to, I just want you to know that Richard's dancing next to me, and I'm really trying to concentrate on my mimosa right now. <laughs> He's pretty much the most evil person I know. <laughs> so so we met at Kevin Phipps's um I, Kevin was my very first podcast he was the one that decided to take a chance on my podcast and I was very grateful for that well he's a brave soul <laughs> yes and now here we are and you're on the show having mimosas with me indeed so tell me a little bit about who Gregory Blair is oh gee uh well Southern California born and bred Dude who never learned how to surf and doesn't tan, and oh my god, uh, we have so much in common. <laughs> Wait, what part of Southern California are you from? Uh, I I was born in the valley, and then but as a baby, we moved out uh, to a suburb of uh, L.A. Downey, if anybody knows it. That's where they they used to have a, a big studio there, uh, for, but that was after I after I left that. Yeah. Uh, and then I then I went to school up at UCLA, so I was like in the Westwood, West LA area, nice. and then I moved to Hollywood. That was pretty much where I've been ever since. Well, we all end up in Hollywood. Well, like, <laughs> many of us do. <laughs> and I saw your your movie not that long ago, um, Garden Party Massacre, and I thought it was amazing. It was so <sighs> so much fun. Cool. So I'm much fun. That's, that, that was the point. <laughs> Richard, have you seen it? Um, hold on, I'm, my mic's not on. Richard just uh, turns his I microphone have... off because I beat him when he's not. When yeah, because he... he hits me while the microphones are off. You'd be great how great mimosa bottles are you to hit people. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, after, uh, yeah, so I haven't seen it. <laughs> okay, then turn your mic off because okay. I've seen it. All right, so no, I just... have. All right, goodbye. No, no, I haven't seen it, Gregory. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't. I didn't get to go to Zed Fest to see it because I was working that day. But I, I want to see it eventually because I, I've heard great things about it. It's good. We hope to have a few more uh, festival screenings in Los Angeles uh, nice. early of this year, uh, 2018, nice. uh, and then uh, then we'll go to distribution, and then it'll be you know on VOD and, and DVD and everywhere, and so everyone will be able to see it. Dope, man. Yeah, like I'll total. I'm. I'll definitely check it out at the next screening. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I can. I I can see you totally. You know, spitting up Coke while watching it. So. <laughs> oh, perfect, dude. Because I love Coca Cola. It's hard for me to spit that up. 
because I just I love the shit out of that stuff. Love the shit. I love it. Well, that will that that will be that will be my goal. Oh, that's sweet, dude. I'll bring the Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have anything on the works that we should know about Mr. Gregory Blair? I just feel like saying your whole name. I don't know why. There are there's a lot of films that will be coming out uh, in 2018, actually, and uh, and I'll be working on a lot as well. Okay. Um, things that will be coming out, um, let's see, will include uh, Hunter Johnson's Serena Waits, which yeah. is a yeah yeah it's a it's a horror film. It's sort of a sort of a revenge ghost story. I did um, um I did a little bit of sound on that. Yes, um, you did. <laughs> that was yeah, that the movie's going to be intense. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. I play a I play a a not very nice person in that. And uh so yourself? Yeah. Just and then a uh, film called Look Back should Look probably back. be coming out. That is a drama. I also don't play exactly that nice a guy in that either. I'm the father figure of this uh these two guys basically it's about a cop chasing a serial killer and then he realizes that the serial killer actually grew up in his in the same house he grew up in so i'm the father figure in all the flashbacks that's oh, why okay. it's called look back oh shit oh oh, oh i and, get it okay i get it and uh and then uh max Churchy's latest film lockdown is going to probably come out uh True that. at some point and that's an action thriller uh, as most of his films are, and uh, it, I've seen the trailer. The trailer looks amazing. Oh, nice! Uh, and then Garden Party Massacre may, I hope, uh, come out for at the end, towards the end of the year. Hopefully, about Halloween. That's that's sort of my goal. Oh, that'd be awesome if we make that happen. Um, Fang, which is Adam Steigart's monster movie, mm-hmm. in which I play a character who's a caretaker named Harold. Uh, who I think I think the film is going to be amazing. It's really I think everybody ends up covered in blood by the end of it. It's quite oh, spectacular. Wonderful. Uh, all the effects are um, uh, practical effects, and I think Harold is going to be iconic. <laughs> so I'm very excited for that that's to come awesome. out. I think that's supposed to also come out around October, and and then I'm shooting a lot of stuff. I'll be shooting um, a new television series called Cyborgs. Nice. Uh, and um, nice. I'm very excited about that. The cast is huge. Anybody um, good? I, Maybe I can come and on. I the sh- play. Show. I play. Eh, I play another not so nice guy in that. <laughs> you should start oh, playing nicer guys. It sounds like yeah. it sounds like some typecasting, dude. It's a, there's a little bit of typecasting. Sometimes I'm nice. I'm a nice guy in Garden Party Massacre. Oh, nice. <laughs> you're and you're uh, a nice dude in in life. So that's why it's kind of crazy that you're playing like <laughs> all these crazy guys. Well, <laughs> a lot of us who end up playing bad guys are nice guys. I mean, Bill Obis Jr. True. plays nothing but bad guys. And he's the nicest guy you can. That's meet, not true. You know? I I've seen tons of movies that he's in. He's played good guys. Occasionally, and I occasionally play good guys. But you know, more yeah. often than not, we end up playing bad guys. What can I say? No, that, just, that, just, that just means you're a good actor, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Bill. I, I should have Bill on the show. He's great. He's always wanted to work with me, so we have to make that happen. Oh yeah, he's he's terrific. He'll he'll, he'll he, I'm sure he'd love to do it. Yeah. Well, um, I'll talk to him about that. I'll just reach out. We're both working on a safe place, which uh, we'll be shooting in March. Okay. And I play the lead antagonist in that. Well, please give him my uh, best. He knows me very well. Yeah. And then uh, later in the year, I'm working on Chase Dudley's film Between the Living and the Dead. And I play a very not nice guy in that either. I'm kind of a psychopathic. A uh, preacher of a church of cannibalism. <laughs> oh god, that sounds so good. I'm so, a huge yeah, fan of human flesh. Pretty much, that's that's what's slated thus far for 2018. I'm sure there will be more because I have I'll have spare time uh, in between <laughs> all of those things to shoot more stuff. All right. So what basically what you're saying is hire Gregory Blair. <laughs> well, yes. I, I think if you don't want I somebody who t-shirts that say that, <laughs> yeah, you should just be like, hire Gregory Blair. I'm really nice guy, just not on screen. <laughs> right, exactly. That was the back, by the way. I, met, I pointed to my. I back. don't really kill people. <laughs> yeah, I don't really eat them either, so that's fair. Exactly. Oh, it sounds like you're doing such great stuff. 
Oh, well, I've been very lucky that uh, I've ended up connecting with a lot of people who are busy in the industry and, and doing good stuff and uh, inviting me to come along for the ride. So, yeah, it's I consider myself very, very blessed in that in that sense. Hashtag blessed. Can't say that. What is it? What did you say? You said I, did you say I can't say that? No, I said hashtag blessed. Oh, hashtag. You have to hashtag everything nowadays, Gregory. That's how people oh, find yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silly me. I should have thought of that. I know. You should and start. Included, included an acronym and then threw in an emoji, except this is only, you know, audio, so that would be weird. Well, but yeah, but you could start like hashtagging Gregory Blair and make it a trending thing. We could see if that works. Hey. The problem, the, pro- the only problem with that is there's, there are many Gregory Blairs. Out there, there's a soccer player. In fact, I know, all the and, all the more reason they'll find you. Hello, hello. Uh, well, it happens. Yeah, I know. My yeah. well, the fabulous actor uh, Doug Jones. You know, with the whole con- congressional that. thing with uh, the politician Doug Jones. Uh, there was a little confusion in that for some people who didn't know better. Oh, I met Doug. He's amazing. I'd love to have, have him on the show. Oh, and again, another great, great person. He's just like, unbelievably you know, all kind. Heart. Yeah, he's all heart. I'm doing it. Okay. Doug Jones, be on my show. Either one of them, it's fine. (laughs) So there you go. I'm I'm just, I'm just lining up your show for the rest of the year here. My job is done. (laughs) um, I appreciate that because I can't always do it myself. So no, but I do reach out to a lot of people and, and people are always excited, but it's hard to, you know, it's hard to sit down with people and have a mimosa. We get busy. I mean, look at you. You're just working so much. It, it it is sometimes very difficult the logistics of getting everything in place. That's why every time you know a movie actually gets made, it's such a miracle that you actually got all of these people together to get all of this stuff to jive to cre- actually create something and put it together, and then it comes out, and then you get these people online going, oh, "That movie wasn't so good." It's like you know what, you make one and then talk. I know, and I, I I do a lot of movie reviews for this uh, horror website that I write for, and I always feel guilty because most of the time I know I either know people involved and stuff, and I'm always like I have to review it because I have to review it, but at the same time I know what it takes to get into it. I, there's so much going on. You're right. It's a it's a tough thing. It's a very tough thing. I mean, I I'm, I I, t- I do you know I think everyone is welcome to their opinion, and that's fine. Um, why are you making so much noise, Richard? <laughs> Richard's making what? so much noise. I'm just like, what is he doing? I'm he's sorry. <laughs> you guys, I just want to point out that he's just jealous because we have our own podcast, and then I have to make him do mine. So he gets oh, really upset. He's like, right. that's not true, Gregory. That's he's making me. He's making me out to be an asshole. The truth. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, is I just I thought my I forgot that microphones pick up multiple sur- like <laughs> surroundings, which is weird because you're a sound guy, and it, which is weird because I'm a sound guy. But this is also my day off. So, <laughs> so he's like, we just make all the so fucking I'm like, noise. I'm gonna make all the noise. I'm I'm all s- the no- so I apologize, but yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's it's so you make all the noise you want. Richard. No, that's not true. <laughs> be quiet, Gregory. Michael will beat me. I do beat. Oh, him. okay. Well, if if that if that is undesirable, then be quiet. Well, <laughs> well I, I got him. I got him. A, well, so here's the thing. So I beat him, but then I bought him a Christmas present because so that I love him. So He's making me bipolar. Yeah, <laughs> that's, there you go. You gotta keep, keep him, him guessing. In his place. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep him in his place. That's right. No, no, he's the best. So Gregory, I, I just, I'm so glad that we finally like connected in 2017, and I'm, we talk a lot, and we've been running around to each other at events and stuff, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. So we're able to like finally sit down and have a mimosa and talk. Yeah, that's great. So do you only do horror? Like, have you ever decided to do, I don't know, like a children's movie or something? No, I've done, I I actually started off uh, way back when, when I was young, in theater. And it was mostly children's, children's theater, musicals and things like that. And then when I started getting into uh, film and television, it was mostly comedy. And I can see that. I can see that. that. Love That Girl. and um, Love That Girl. I feel like I know that show. It's. I don't think it's on anymore, but it was on for a while, and I was a recurring character on one season. Okay. And uh, and so was that a lot of Harvest comedy, Studios. You know, with a face like mine, I guess comedy seems natural. That's actually really so, funny because I work with that company. Which company? I think the. I think I work with the company that worked that did Love That Girl. Uh, TV One. 
Yes, I and, in Harvest yeah, Studios. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I work. Um, I just was. I was just on their set this week, visiting them on another show they do. Oh yeah, well, well I mean, because they're they're still putting out great stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's so funny. I didn't know you were on that show. Yeah, so that and so mostly originally a lot of what I did was more comedic, and then I ended up doing a few things that were not. Uh, I think my first leading role in a feature, Jiminy Crickets. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> needs some medicine. <laughs> <coughs> my mimosa went down the wrong hole. <coughs> I'm so sorry. See what happens is when when my guest starts talking about themselves, I kind of get jealous and I start. I have to do something to make myself the f- center of attention again. Apparently, I'm so sorry about that. It's just it's just Michael gets carried away with his mimosas. Oh man, you guys. <laughs> but dude, um, God give me strength over here, Gregory. I think honestly, man, I think uh, I think that I think you're fantastic to be able to start like with. Like with doing musicals and stuff, that's difficult. I I personally love the shit out of some musicals. I oh. shit. I'm a big fan of musicals. That's like my sisters used to show me them all the time. And then in like my elementary school, they had like a music class where you would like learn about musicals. So like they made us watch like The King and I, nice. Fiddler on the Roof, nice. uh, South Pacific, yeah. oh. all like right, the, all the classics, all the like Rodgers and Hammerstein ones. You guys, Richard's getting sensitive and he's opening up right now he's i just vulnerable. love i love musicals that's why when you mentioned i'm like dude those are so difficult so vulnerable. and that's like so like that's why that's that's admirable as fuck and i love musicals too yeah but well, I, I think you know the thing about musicals is it's it's just one more layer you know you've yeah. got the you've yeah. got that text you've got the acting you've got the visuals and on top of that you add singing yeah which and music both of which really heighten um emotion well yeah and then, and then yeah. like even throwing in like a dancing factor like in and like singing in the rain like absolutely how, like that's like that 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 also like adds like another layer and that's that's why to me it's like crazy as shit if you can do musicals then it's like you, you can do anything it makes you like like reach out to all your senses like you have to like use every aspect of your creativity it's pretty cool I yeah, out. which I think is one of the reasons why, you know, my esteem for certain actors always goes up if they are successful at musicals, you know, like Hugh Jackman or uh, yeah. Neil Patrick Harris or oh, yeah. even Meryl Streep, you know, you can have this trajectory of playing, you know, all of these Oscar and these uh, serious dramatic roles and or this great action iconic, you know, Wolverine or whatnot, and then you can get up and wow an audience on stage or on film with a musical performance it's like okay you know there's some there's that you know that's range like, and that's pine, talent chris pine anna kendricks there you go right Although, uh, so, i knew anna kendricks could sing because i saw her years ago in a movie long before she got big and she was singing in that so she's amazing a lot of people have started off uh, glenn close was uh oh, on broadway oh, in barnum and that's how she was discovered to be in her first film, uh, big feature. Uh, what was that called? The Big Chill. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and then the boom, from then on, she became you Fucking know Oscar nominated actress. Blah blah blah. And then attraction. finally, now back on Broadway. Yeah. You know, yeah. with, with uh, Sunset Boulevard. So you know. Yeah. You never know. It's all good. It's <laughs> amazing. So basically, we need uh, we need to start casting in a in a horror musical. You, you can... know, I actually saw a horror musical. There's actually been a few. Um, okay. One was a short okay. film I saw at the Fantastic Horror <laughs> Film Festival, like, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago. Wait, I want to um, stop you right there because the Fantastic Horror Film Festival is where both of us won awards. That is correct. I just want to throw that out there to our audience and slash fans <laughs> that both of us won awards at the Fantastic Horror Film Festival in San Diego. Okay, yes, continue. That's, that's very true. Yeah, that's I was very a, excited. A, it's a beautiful word. It's hanging on my wall right now. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. They do nice. They do really nice plaques. Yeah, things. they do. Um. So anyway, and then I saw there was a film, a feature film that was a musical horror film. I can I can't even remember the name of it now. But so it has been done. Yeah. Um. It's just that's so difficult to do. I mean, I think I think movie musicals are difficult to do just because of the that's a weird genre they work so much easier on stage 
So to do it on film is really difficult. And then to do a genre like uh, horror, yeah. I guess technically in a way Sweeney Todd is pretty horrific. Oh, I True. love um, Sweeney Todd. Yeah. But again, that was a that was a stage play first. Yeah, of course. Um, of course. That they translated to film. No, it was good. I liked it. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Johnny Depp in the role, but... Oh, no, but the, the play... The no, the actual musical itself is legit, yeah. So good. So good. So... Yeah. So, anyway, uh, you know, that would be a dream of mine if I were a bigger dude. Hell, oh. yeah, dude, but no, like... Play, play that on stage. If it's a dream, but, you know. if it's a dream man, it could t- it's totally reachable. Yeah. You just, yeah, you're, I you're, don't know. At, at, at you're my age with, and my size, I think I have a, I have a um, I have a I have a brand, you know, and it's it's not that guy. I mean, Johnny Depp was pretty was the skinniest Sweeney Todd I've ever seen, and it happens that he also happens to be tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so that helps. So he, because that character does have to, you know really manhandle people and flip them in a chair and yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of physicality to that that a tiny dude would be less believable, I think, and less formidable and less scary. Um, yeah, but, you know, dude, you're, you're, you're such a good actor. I'm sure you can, you can, you can jimmy that up. Well, you can certainly on that. film you can get away with a lot. I, yeah. have, I, have, I have been a very formidable, scary killing machines on film Fuck yeah. and it works just fine so of course all i'm saying is dreams are reachable reachable i'm drunk wow reachable. Dream are, dreams are reachable this, this is yeah, why no you don't get to mo- talk no that much this is for him this is why i get 86 on <laughs> the mic talk by so much on this podcast but this is i'm sorry i came in on this one because gregory's a friend and i just wanted to talk to him and let him know that I, Gregory, I think you're doing a fantastic job. Keep up the good work. And I know 2018 is going to be massive for you, man. Hey, Gregory Blair, how can our fans find you and your work? Oh, boy. Uh, everywhere. Um, I'm on Facebook. Uh, I'm on, I think, I'm on Twitter. Everything is like The Gregory Blair. Um, so that makes uh, Instagram clear. is The Gregory Blair. Yeah, Twitter's The Gregory Blair. Um, okay. I have a website. It's uh, twowriters.com. Uh, Gregory Blair, okay. um, IMDb, obviously, Gregory Obvious. Blair. Obvi. Um, I think I have a Pinterest page. Uh, wow. Does anybody do that? God, you're um, like hooked up. We have all that stuff too for the podcast, so it's perfect. <laughs> Richard's playing with shit over here. Since I won't let him talk now, he's like spinning dials, so I don't know what the hell what kind of show we're going to have when we're done. <laughs> but anyways dude you've been amazing i just want to say thank you so much for having mimosas with us today um Absolutely. the show isn't very long because i want to keep my inter- my audience entertained <laughs> and when when richard starts like talking though my numbers go down i'm totally Aww. just joking i'm totally joking don't he's probably the most exciting part of the show truthfully <laughs> so um but i wish you all the best this year in 2018 thank and you what are you doing Richard Uh Anyways, uh, thank you so much for being a part of the show. I really do wish you all the best for 2018. Great. Yeah, you too, Michael. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You're the best. Um, and I want to say thank you and Happy New Year to my listeners. You can find us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. It's free music. Just download it. Um, and also our website is mimosaswithmichael.com. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, which is mimosasmichael. Um, and I'm on Pinterest too, just so you know, YouTube and all that snazzy stuff. So, why the um, fuck are you on Pinterest? I put, I'm, on, I'm on everything because I want everybody to find the show. <laughs> hey, so I'm wrapping up the show. Are you ready with the the music? Oh shit! You God, music? dude, this guy is new. <laughs> no, it's okay, Richard. Just keep making your strange noises. <laughs> I know it's insane. You know, I listen to these shows later, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on in the background? It's Foley. You know, it's just Foley. So then this way we have it for later too. You never know when you're yeah, gonna need it. Yeah, that's exactly okay. what it is. I'm just making sure I provide fully, just for you guys. <laughs> Greg, again, thank you so much. Are you ready? Can I close this show now? Yeah, just close it. I'm going to play any song. No, you have to play the theme song. You work so hard on the theme song, Greg. <laughs> you guys, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Gregory. I'm we sorry. have to sing our own theme song. Let's yeah. sing it. Just sing it. Hey, yeah. now, now it's Mimosas with Michael, the musical. <laughs> there you go. It's, yeah. Gregory, what, do, what, are you tenor, second baritone? What the hell do you sing? 
Oh, I don't. I hardly sing at all anymore. The last musical I did was, oh, gosh, maybe ten years ago. Oh. It's been that long. Wait, which musical was it? Uh, I was working the musical. Do you remember that? No, but the theme song is playing. That means I have to. I have to close up the show. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but um, I I want to have you on again because you're amazing. And after you do like all of your 18 shows in 2018, we'll definitely have you back on uh, to, okay. to talk about them. I'd love it. Happy New Year, my friend. All right, you too. All right, take care. All right, all right bye. Bye, Gregory. Ciao. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Well, I thought we were done. That's what the music was for. Uh, I love you, my fans. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the show uh, in 2017. And I look forward to uh, getting to know you all here in 2018. Thank you so much.